A big weekend for the city of Nassau and the tell signs all evident downtown, including decorations in Rawson Square. They are part of the 150th anniversary celebrations of the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and the city of Nassau. Chairperson of the National Events Committee, Anita Bernard, says it is an historical depiction of Nassau's development. Of course, prominent among the persons would be those in the church. And one of these photos would, would contain the names of all of the bishops who served in the Bahamas since 1861. In addition, we have all of the high dignitaries, particularly the Bahamians, who served in the highest office in the Anglican Diocese. Those are there in the northern section of Rawson Square. In addition to that, we have again uh, mounted the portraits of our former, all the governors general, and we have put in some photos depicting Nassau as it would then have been the early city of Nassau. So it would have been a transition from Nassau town to the city of Nassau. Well, the cabinet secretary says activities to commemorate the special occasion are on target. They kicked off with a beat retreat last weekend on Bay Street. Last night at Cable Beach, hundreds of Anglicans attended a banquet and joined Bishop Leish Boyd and other bishops to give God thanks for 150 years as a diocese. Up next, there will be a concelebrated mass to mark the event at Christchurch Cathedral tomorrow afternoon, immediately followed by a procession to Rawson Square. Imagine... I, a very colorful procession from the church. We will be going up, we'll be going south on George Street, onto Princess Street, down Cumberland Street, and into Bay Street. Proce we'll process straight to Rawson Square. At the square, there will be a brief ceremony where the church will bless the city of Nassau. That too promises to be quite spectacular. And of course, you can join the ZNS network tomorrow beginning at 2.30 for live coverage of all of the activities taking place in the city of Nassau tomorrow. A final earthly farewell for a man who dedicated his life to serving underprivileged youth. The funeral of the Reverend Dr. Prince Hepburn, a justice of the peace and a member of the British Empire who passed away on October 25th, was held today at New Covenant Baptist Church. Hepburn founded, founded of the star of the Bahamas Charity Guide Number no. 35 in 1940. Its major project, a two-week summer camp in Eleuther for thousands of underprivileged children each year. He was also founder of the Bahamas Brotherhood, which provided meals to indigent senior citizens and an annual Christmas treat for thousands of children. This accomplished Cat Islander never lost a common touch. Living his adult life in Bain Town, he was the recipient of the Golden Heart Award from the Sir Victor Sassoon Foundation, as well as a Golden Guardian Award in recognition of his lifetime commitment and devotion to the care and protection of the children of the Bahamas from the Ministry of Housing and Social Development. Reverend Dr. Prince Hepburn, a true nation builder. He was 92. A major explosion of fashion set to take place this weekend, giving, giving those in the fashion and modeling industry a healthy dose of the latest for the season. Back by popular demand and for the seventh year, Divas Inc. presents its annual fashion extravaganza this Sunday at the Rainforest Seattle Cable Beach. The popular event has become a must-see on the social calendar. Rika Cargill is one of the 32 models appearing. Is we have beautiful young ladies and beautiful faces, different faces. Every year we have new faces and old faces, different shapes, sizes. You know, we give a, everybody a chance to come, do the show, enjoy the show, and see how it, how it really feels to be on stage, to be in front of a crowd. And it's months of preparation, but aside from the stress, it's fun for most of the models participating, who says it's exciting. Joanne Moxie has been modeling for more than a decade. She, along with choreographer Dwayne Lamb, has been working with the models to put on more than just a fashion show, but a production that features an opening dance number and lots of surprises and top-notch entertainment and recording artists. I feel like this is my way to give back to young girls and there are so many different things and, and, and strange things going on out there. You know, you come here, you have a good time, it's positive, you have fun and it, you grow, you grow from there. 
Mona is giving back to uh, girls who don't even have time to maybe say do a dance class or maybe do a modeling class because in our show here we have girls who dance and girls who model so this year we're bringing something different and something new we have a young lady singing we have professional dancers even professional models in this show so just everyone going to sit back relax enjoy a fabulous show if you're not here you're going to miss an awesome show of course, the show takes place on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. at Rainforest Theater. Part of the proceeds will be donated to a worthy cause. Well, it's November and getting to the peak of the social calendar. So what's on tap? Well, here is our arts and entertainment reporter, Cyan Thompson, with activities on tap this weekend. He's one of the world's best performers in ragtime, jazz, and blues, and he will be right here in the Capitol this weekend. He's none other than Terry Waldo. We have Terry Waldo coming in um, from New York, and uh, Terry Waldo is one of the world's leading uh, specialists on, um, on ragtime. And uh, he will be here with us um, on Friday at the College of the Bahamas at 8 p.m. And on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. at St. Paul's Church Hall in Life at Key. Um, this will be the second concert um, of our 2011-2012 season. And we're glad to have Terry Waldo. He was here with us before, um, a few years ago, and the public loved him. This is something that's a bit lighter than what we had uh, two weeks ago with uh, um, Elena and Dimitri, um, which was more classical. Terry will be doing stride, ragtime, and he said some early, uh, early jazz as well. I think what is unique about the Nassau Music Society is that we bring in artists that people would not um, usually have the, the opportunity to see here in Nassau. Um, we try to bring it in at an affordable cost for everybody and um, also we try to have a variety of things. Uh, for example, this season it's all strings. It's also a variety of different types of persons that are playing as well. As I said, Terry Waldo is something that would be a bit lighter. Um, he'll sing as well. He not only plays, but he sings as well. And he talks to the audience. He also informs them of what he's doing. The Nassau Music Society's concert season ends with this concert with Terry Waldo. However, it begins again in January with a special mix of Cuban and Spanish music. For the Arts and Entertainment segment, I'm Cyan Thompson. Thank you, Cyan. And remember this adage, spring forward, fall back. Well, tonight, it's time to fall back at 2 Sunday morning. Set your clocks one hour back. You get to sleep an extra hour as you go back to Eastern Standard Time. Daylight Savings Time will return on Sunday, March 11, 2012 at 1 a.m. So you get an extra hour of sleep, Julia? Yeah, they need to do that every day. <laughs> every day, set the clock back.